How are we going, everyone? Have a look at this. Like I said to you yesterday, I'm going to start preparing these garter beds and cleaning them up. And I've come here and look, look at this. We've got silver beet and we've got perpetual spinach growing in here as well. This is nuts. This is what I'm talking about. You really do not need to rely on the big chain stores to have food in your garden or in your, in your kitchen, that is, because you can have it in your garden and you don't need a big uh, garden as well. Look at this space here, right? I'm standing in an area. This is 1.1 by 1.1 square. So that's the area. So let's say this is two by two. This could be on anyone's balcony courtyard, front, you know, two metre by four metre, you know, front of those single fronted homes that only have a couple of metres in depth and five, six metres in width. You can grow a forest of food in there. I kid you not. And this is all self-germinated. This is after three years of growing different veggies in all the places. And I allowed the silver beet and perpetual spinach to go to seed. And now... We can't leave it here like this. I mean, we can start harvesting a little bit. I'm actually going to transplant some, and this is what you should do, start dividing them. Like I said, it was about six weeks since I've been in here, and that's how fast these are grown. So get underneath. Look how I'm not going too close to the plant there with a the garden fork. See, I'm about two or three inches away, 70, 80 mil away. So it's because I don't want to actually disturb the roots too much. Oh, a little bit of tearing is not going to hurt it too much. But we've picked it up with a big clump of soil. And look, silver beet's pretty tough. It's a tough, tough plant. I'm going to shake some of this soil off because it's really just sandy loam sitting there, even though it thrives in it and it seems like it's pretty rich. That's cool. There you go. There's one plant. That's ready for transplanting. Look at that. Nature delivered to your doorstep. Now, I'm going to transplant this into a pot and some raised garden beds. Not just this one. I'm going to do a whole heap of them. So we've got one here. Self-germinated, folks, so that means it's happy to grow in this little microclimate of mine here, especially with no watering. Here we have a multiple uh, group of seedlings. Well, these are seedlings. Now, dis disturbing the roots is always going to cause them to go backwards a little bit. But see how I'm not tearing them? I'm just tickling them. My fingers underneath are doing this. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Because you can see the soil's really loose. They fall apart quite easily. One, two, three. Jesus, heaps here. Look at all this. And this is all from one little pocket, folks. Killing it. And we're going to go and plant them on the other side here in this raised garden bed. These are all the old silver beet. They've done their dash, folks. Time to come out, see all that. I'm going to leave these because they're still showing some good signs there. This little red one's a little bit worn out. That's gone. That's gone and get some of the grass out. Now I'm going to plant into this bed as well. Now it's right next to the bed we prepared yesterday with a little bit of superfood and uh, black grit. But here, Let's have a look underneath. See, all these are rotted out. Have a look. It's a bit hard, this one. Just a little bit hard. I think I'm going to have to top dress this as well with a bit of compost. What's that? We've got some onions growing in here. Oh, I pulled them out. I shouldn't have. Doesn't matter. There's more. All right, we'll leave these ones here. We'll scratch this surface over. Now let's work in between. We're not going to do the whole garden bed. You know, when it comes to scratching, you don't have to go any deeper than 100 mil. That's the most you really want to do. That's sort of the composting layer of the garden bed. What I've just done there is all I need to do there. Superfood. Get rid of these roots. And black grit. Then scratch it in. Mix it through like that. And now time to plant those silver beets. Here we are. Any broken leaves, take them off, no good. Like that, take that little one off. You can use your fingers or use a dibbler to open up a little hole. Like that there. They should be planted about 30 centimetres. You can plant closer, but they are going to get a little bit congested as they grow. So about 30 centimetres is what you want to work at. This is a little bit hard at the bottom. What I'm talking about, heart. Ah, it's breaking up. You know what it needs? Water. Having water for so long, it starts to go off. And without water, nothing decomposes, folks. It always sort of just sits there in a you know, suspended state. Beautiful plant. These are beautiful. Let's see if these actually perform well now that I've dug them out of the ground. Loosen it up a bit there. In the ground. See, I'm not pressing it down. I'm just sitting there comfortably and I'm just pushing the soil around like that and holding the leaves up so I can get my soil around. And then just carefully, a light pressure, 
around the plant, not too hard, doesn't need to be too hard unless it's really top heavy. You know, you've got to understand if the plant's going to fall over because it's top heavy, then you may need to press it down firmly so it doesn't fall over with high winds. Now here we've got three plants again, separate them carefully like that, break away all the broken leaves, loosen it up, that's not bad in here, push the soil around like that and a light press, only that, that's all you need to do and you keep going all the way across. A little bit of liquid gold and EK Butch folks to kick start them in their new home here. All right, and a nice soak over the top. When you do wet the foliage on any sort of plant that you water, when it comes to liquid feeding, they actually take up the nutrients a lot quicker than they do through the roots. Because it's instantaneous, they actually sits on the plant and it absorbs it. Check out our website, VasiliesGarden.com for all your favourite gardening products. Our end of autumn clearance sale is on, folks. It's going to finish at the, on the 31st of May. Click and collect is available from Lethbridge and Coburg, or you can just shop in-store at Coburg at your leisure. All at VasiliesGarden.com from me, Vasily Maresi.